So I started selling patches about 10 years ago on eBay, and I'm convinced it's the easiest way to make good money on eBay. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the exact process that I use to not only find patches to sell, but also how to sell them. And we're getting started right now. What's up guys and girls, my name is Justin and I go by Coach Commerce here on YouTube. And here on my channel, I make all kinds of videos about how to get better as an eBay seller. Now, out of all of the videos that I've made so far on YouTube, I have to say I'm probably most excited for this video because when it comes to selling on eBay, patches are probably my favorite thing to sell. They're small, they don't take up a lot of room, they're easy to list and photograph, they're easy to ship, and they make you really, really good money. In fact, I make thousands of dollars every year selling these patches on eBay. And I'm gonna tell you guys exactly how to do the same. But before I do that, let's go ahead and talk about who buys patches on eBay. The people that buy patches on eBay, you know, are people that maybe are looking to decorate a hat or a shirt, or they could be serious collectors. A lot of people collect specific patches like scouting patches, police patches, military patches, motorcycle patches. You know, there's collectors for everything. And eBay with patches is no different. If you're listing a patch, chances are you're gonna have a buyer looking for it. Now, when it comes to selling patches on eBay, I'm sure the first question you have is, where do I find patches to sell? And there are really two different ways that you can find them. The first way is to go picking. And the way that most people find patches when they're picking is they find them at places like flea markets, places like auctions and estate sales, or even at thrift stores. And hand-picking patches is a great way to customize and really curate your eBay store. But in my opinion, the best way to find patches to resell on eBay is gonna be the second method, and that is buying patches in bulk. And when it comes to buying patches in bulk, I actually turn to the internet. I'll go to places like Facebook Marketplace and look for people selling patch collections, or I'll even turn to eBay itself and I'll you know, do an eBay search for bulk patch collections and I'll buy them on bulk on eBay. And I realize that buying patches on eBay to then turn around and resell on eBay might seem counterproductive, but it actually works. And the reason being is people selling big bulk lots aren't taking the time to go and individually list patches one by one on eBay Whereas that's exactly what you're gonna do. If you buy a big bulk lot of patches on eBay and you take the time to put them up and list them one at a time, you're gonna make money on your investment. So I've grabbed a stack of patches here and I'll kind of go through each patch one by one and tell you the subject matter on the patch and why it's a good patch that would sell well on eBay. For starters, I have a Harley patch here. Now Harley Davidson anything always sells well on eBay and patches are no exception. Especially if you find a vintage patch or an older patch, like this one's 1987, um, that one's gonna sell real well. This one will go for you know 30 to $50 on eBay. And in general, Harley patches always sell well and they sell quick. Another good patch category is scouting patches, like Boy Scout patches and Girl Scout patches. And some scouting patches sell for a lot of money. When you're done watching this video, go over to eBay and type in Boy Scout patches, look at the solds and sort them from highest to lowest. You'll be blown away. Some of these things sell for over $1,000. Now, another good subject matter of patches to sell on eBay are law enforcement or military patches. So if you find police patches, um, they sell for on average of $10 or more. I've had a few that have sold for upwards of 100. And then along the same line, military patches sell really well. Historical buffs and military nuts love these and they eat them up. Um, you know, any period piece going all the way back from current day, even all the way down to, you know, the early world wars, they sell really well on eBay. If you find an older patch, chances are it's gonna sell for a lot more money than a modern or newer patch would sell for. Another government patch that sells really well are NASA and space related patches. Um, they are really copied and, and a lot of them are faked, but if you do find genuine and authentic NASA patches, they can bring a ton of money on eBay. Another favorite patch category that I love selling are sportsmen and outdoors patches. For example, this fishing patch, it's made by a fishing lure company, will sell for upwards of $30 to $40. So always keep an eye out for any outdoors or sporting patch. And then likewise, any type of transportation patch is gonna sell really well. Um, anything automotive with cars and automobiles, kind of like this Ford GM patch, it sells really well. But also airplane patches sell well and train or locomotive patches sell really good too. And then also any type of vintage patch, for example, like a Varsity Letterman patch, these things sell all the time for me for like $20. So any type of vintage patch, especially if it has a really cool look, 
is gonna sell really well on eBay. So when you're looking for patches to sell on eBay, the main thing is try to keep in mind, you know, what would a collector or what would a buyer be looking for? If it looks cool and it has good subject matter, chances are somebody else will think it's cool and they'll wanna add it to their collection too. Okay, so now let's talk about how much money you should be investing when you're looking to purchase products or patches that you're looking to sell on eBay. Now, when I'm looking for patches to resell online, I typically like to spend no more than a dollar per patch. And the reason being is most of the patches that you're looking to sell on eBay aren't going to bring you a ton of money. When you're making money selling patches online, the way that you do it is by selling a lot of patches in bulk. Quantity is the key here, and the more that you're listing and the more that you're putting up on eBay, the more money you're gonna make when you're selling patches. So when I'm looking to spend no more than a dollar per patch, I'm probably going to average around 10 to $15 on that patch that I'm only paying a dollar for. And that's a good rule to follow, especially when you're starting out, because if you're not investing a lot into patches, you're guaranteeing that you're gonna make money on the back end. And as you get better at buying and selling patches, you're gonna get a better eye and you're gonna get a better feel of what patches to look for when you're trying to sell patches of higher value. For example, you know, I've been doing this for a long time and now when I see a patch that's for sale for you know like 10 to $20, I'll have no problem spending that amount of money on that patch if I know I can flip it for like 50 to 100. But that kind of knowledge comes from years of experience. So as you're starting out, try to keep your costs low and you're not gonna make very many mistakes. Okay, so now let's talk about how to list patches on eBay. When it comes to listing patches, the key to making money is by being efficient and listing quickly to make sure that you get a lot of patches up and active in your eBay store. Now, one of the great things about patches is that they're really easy to list. For example, when it comes to photographing them, all you need are really four pictures. You're gonna take a picture of the front, a picture of the back, and then you'll also wanna take two pictures with a ruler to measure the length and the height of the patch itself. And then when it comes to the rest of listing on eBay, I like to try to keep the listing really bare bones and let all of the pictures do the talking. When it comes to my description field, I'll literally copy my title, paste it down in the description, and then say, see photos. Because really, all the buyer needs to know is what the patch looks like and what type of condition it's in. And then after I copy and paste my title into the description field, all that there really is left to do is to price it. And with patches, what I do is, you know, I list them pretty much all buy it now. If I have a really rare patch, I'll put it up at auction and let the market decide its value. But the majority of patches, you can get a good idea of what they're worth just by doing a reverse eBay search for the patch that you're listing. So if you follow that process and you really focus on getting a lot of patches listed on eBay, you'll find that you can list on average, you know, around like 20 to 30 patches an hour. And if you factor that into a regular workday, let's go on the low end and say I only list 20 patches an hour. If I do that for a full eight hours, I'm gonna end up with 160 new patch listings on eBay. And then let's say you average $10 for every patch that you sell, that's $1,600 in profit in one day's work. And then of course, if I multiply that out by five or a five day work week, that's 800 active patch listings that I've got put up on eBay or $8,000 in total new inventory each week that I'm getting on eBay in patches alone. So as you can tell, this is a really scalable model and you can get a lot of patches active in your eBay store. Now, if you follow this model and you start putting up a lot of patches on eBay, you've gotta have a really good inventory management system to keep track of all of the patches you're putting up. Because there's nothing worse than when you sell something and you go to pull it out of your inventory and you can't find it. So that's why I always advise having a really good SKU system in place. And it really doesn't even have to be complicated. All you have to do is take a shoebox or a plastic tub and store all of your patches in chronological order inside of the tubs. For example, when I'm listing patches, I'll take a tub and I'll label it with an alphanumeric code like box A. And then as I'm listing the patches, I'll give each patch a numerical value like one, two, three, four, and so on. Essentially creating a card catalog system. And then when a patch sells, all I have to do is I have to go back and look, oh, I listed that in box A and it's patch number 45. Then I can go over to my box, look by number and pull out patch number 45 right away. So it makes it easy to find them when they sell and it makes it easy to find all of your inventory quickly. And then also, if you follow this method, not only is it easy to find the patches when they actually sell, but it makes everything nice and neat and tidy. Okay, so now let's pretend like you've gotten this far and you've actually made a sale on eBay and it's now time to ship your patch. What do you do? Well, what I do is I take my patches and I'll put them in an envelope with a regular postage stamp. 
and I'll ship it that way. And I ship almost all of my patches that way. In fact, any patch that sells for under $15, that's kind of my rule of thumb. I always put it in an envelope and I've never really had any issues. The one thing that you have to remember to do on eBay is you have to actually go into the sale transaction and mark the sale as shipped. Because when you're shipping with a regular postage stamp, it's not going to have a tracking number. And if eBay thinks that you haven't shipped your patches on time, you'll end up getting a lot of late shipping defects and it'll really hurt your account as a seller. So make sure you mark your patches that you actually shipped them. Now, as I was saying, a general rule of thumb that I follow is any patch that I've sold for under $15, I'll ship with a regular postage stamp. But a patch that goes for over $15, I kind of want to make sure that it has tracking. So if the buyer claims that it didn't get to them or if it gets lost in the mail, I'll be covered and I'll be protected. So if I sell a patch that's kind of expensive, what I'll normally do is I'll put it in like a padded mailer and then I'll actually buy postage on eBay, like first class mail. And that's going to cost like, you know, three or four dollars depending on where it's going to but it's also going to be ensured that I have a shipping label and that there's going to be tracking. So patches that are higher dollar in value, I'll always you know, ship with tracking just to have that extra layer of security. But with that being said, I've never really had any issues shipping patches with a regular stamp. The post office is really good in handling them and I've never really had any get lost. So a stamp with cheaper patches will work just fine. Okay, so once you've shipped your patch to your customer, congratulations, you are done with selling that individual patch. And really the only thing you have left to do is to continue selling patches over and over again. Um, but before I go, I wanna give you guys a couple of pointers to help you be successful in selling patches on eBay. And the first one is, remember, when you're selling patches on eBay, volume is the key. You really wanna try to get a lot of patches put up in your store because the more you have available, the more money you're gonna make. Think of selling patches on eBay kind of like a regular brick and mortar store. If you walk into a small store like a boutique that doesn't really have very many items on the shelf, chances are you're gonna walk out of that store without purchasing very many things, right? If you walk into a store like Walmart or Target with only one thing in mind, chances are you're gonna walk out with more than just that one thing. And your eBay store is really no different. If somebody coming in to buy one patch sees you've got a lot to offer, chances are they might buy multiple and you're gonna make more sales and more transactions. For me personally, I do have probably like around five to 6,000 patches active in my main eBay store. I do sell a lot of other stuff, but I love selling patches because it's so simple to do and it's an easy way to make money. Um, there are actually bigger patch sellers on eBay, people that only focus on selling only patches and they make a lot of money doing it. I know a handful of sellers that make six figures a year only selling patches on eBay. So if that's the type of seller that you wanna be or become, um, that's awesome, that's a great goal to have in mind. But my last tip would be, make sure you have a really good inventory or SKU system. That way you can be really efficient when you have to actually pull orders and you can spend more time focusing on actually getting more listings up and active on eBay. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you found some of the information helpful. Um, but if you have any questions or if there's anything I can help out with, feel free to drop a comment down below and I promise I'll do my best to try to help you out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Good luck selling on eBay and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye guys.